Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. I really struggled with that then. I only say it three times a week. Today, I'm doing like my end of month favorites, but we all like to hear about negativity as well. So today I wanna share with you my hits and my sh of the month. The good, the bad, the very bad, the pretty good. This is a popular thing, like I, I didn't come up with this title, like a lot of people do this and I'm jumping on that bad wagon. But we're keeping it kind of positive, we've got three hits, two sh so yeah, let's waste no more time, let's just get into it. Let's start with the hit. And we're gonna start off with the Inky List Ceramide Night Treatment. The Inky List sent me a ton of products ages ago and they kind of just sat on my shelf for the longest time. For some reason, I was never really drawn to any of them. Then my skin went to crap and I needed that extra help, that extra boost to help with my skin barrier and to get my skin back to normal. So I was like browsing my shelf, browsing all my drawers. Then yeah, came across this. Looked it up online, had amazing reviews. So yeah, this is an overnight mask that you use after a serum. I tend to use it before another moisturizer because it's not really hydrating in any way. It says it is, but it's not. So yeah, this basically helps rebuild the structure of your skin using ceramides, whilst helping out with the dehydration that usually comes along with a ruined skin barrier. This also contains cholesterol and squalane to help our skin barrier function as normal. This sounds like it's gonna be a super thick, greasy overnight moisturizer, but it's not at all. It's almost like a gel moisturizer. But as I did mention, it's not really, it hasn't got that like nice thickness to it that you want to then go to bed with. So I do use like a really thick occlusive moisturizer before I go to bed over the top of this. But this has honestly really, really helped so, so much. And it's really cheap. The Inky List are affordable and definitely worth the money. Um, I've got loads of more of their products so I'm gonna start experimenting with them. But for me, this has been a standout product. Okay, let's talk about shit. And unfortunately, it's the Etude House surprise. My old watery light SPF 50 plus PA3 pluses. This comes highly, highly recommended. And I wanted to like this so, so much, like so, so much. So this is a chemical sunscreen and it's everything you'd expect from a Korean chemical sunscreen. It's light, it's watery in texture. Um, there's no white cast, none at all, which is great, which is why I love Korean sunscreens. However, Unfortunately, it made my skin itch like crazy. And that is just something that my skin tends to do with certain chemical sunscreens. I break out, I get like really itchy, tiny spots, like especially on my forehead and on my cheek area. And this stung my eyes so, so bad as well, which again is typical of some chemical um, sunscreens. For me, they either do that or they don't. Do you know I mean, there's no in between where it's kind of like bearable. And whilst this was light on the skin initially, like water, light it did I felt like this isn't what happened but I felt like any oil that was in this kind of separated from the formulation from the product and then just kind of sat on my skin I found myself looking oilier throughout the day but I was gutted because everyone loves this and I use this without a moisturizer as well because it has got some nice moisturizing ingredients in so I thought maybe it's the moisturizer that's making me feel oily it wasn't unfortunately it was this there was a day where I was just like sat at home editing and not even being that active and my skin looked like I'd been out in the sun sweating for an hour. Um, so unfortunately, I really don't like this, um, which I'm gutted about, I'm gutted. Here's a sunscreen, however, that has been an absolute hit for me. This is the Muji Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Pluses. I love this, it's got like a little thing in it. So when you shake it, it like mixes up. There's quite a few things I like about this moisturizer. Moisturizer sunscreen. It's a typical Japanese kind of like formulation where it's really watery and light. It doesn't feel matte on the skin and it doesn't make me itch like some chemical sunscreens can do. That could be because it's a mix of chemical and physical. So it's got some physical UV filters in there too, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't, you get none of that white cakey castiness at all. Another thing I like is a lot of my sunscreens when left alone for, I don't know, like maybe a month and they're still in date they can sometimes look like they've separated a bit. This has like a, a, a mixing ball in it. I don't know what they're called. So you give it a good shake before you use it and it feels like all fresh and new. But I feel like with all Muji um, skincare, it's really no thrills, just does the job, doesn't promise anything special. And this is just a good, nice, lightweight sunscreen that I wish, I think they do, but I wish they did it in a bigger, bigger bottle because I'm going to go through this pretty quick. 
But yeah, really like it, really recommend it if you're struggling just to find a decent sunscreen that won't sting um, or leave a white cast. The next shit, unfortunately, is another Sun By Me product. People think I have something against Sun By Me, but I don't. I actually really want to like some of their stuff and I keep buying their stuff. Um, this is the Snail True Seeker Miracle Repair Serum. I thought I'd really enjoy this because I've been looking for a serum that doesn't contain hyaluronic acid, which I keep mentioning, and this doesn't. This is meant to help regenerate skin cells. It's meant to help with um, moisture retention and smooth and refine the skin. Um, I use this probably for like a month and I just didn't get anything from it, like nothing. Usually when it comes down to products like this, it's not really fair for me to make an assumption because things like dark spots, um, refining skin texture, all that kind of stuff is something I don't struggle with massively anyway. Recently, however, because I've been trying to figure out what's been causing my skin irritation and my skin barrier has not been 100%, I've not been able to exfoliate and I've not wanted to exfoliate until my skin is 100%. So I've been like a couple of months without proper exfoliation. So I was looking to see a difference, especially in the texture of my skin. In. And this really, for me, did absolutely nothing. There is also a bit of like up in the airness about the real, real benefits of snail mucin and whether it really does scientifically hold any benefits, which we'll have to look a bit more into. Um, and if you know, let me know down below. But I have seen a lot of dermatologists and a lot of um, cosmetic um, chemists question its benefits. Silver lining though, what I will keep this for is when my skin is really irritated. Um, it's got some nice soothing ingredients in, like Allentoin, Centella. So I feel like this might be nice in summer when like um, my skin gets a little bit sun damaged maybe, possibly sometimes. Keep it in the fridge, whack it out, smooth it over and I think it'll be really nice and soothing. But other than that, that's the only real benefit I saw from this and not really what it promises. So one product I've been using non-stop for about two months now that I've already mentioned in a previous video. The moisturizer I mentioned in my evening skincare routine is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. So I've actually been using this to help repair my damaged skin barrier. It was recommended by a licensed esthetician. Luckily, I already had it lying around the house. And it's not a moisturizer that I look at and think, skin barrier repair, or a moisturizer I use when my skin was sensitive or anything like that. I don't know why, it's just not. Um, but when it was recommended, I started using it and I'm like in love with it. It's helped so, so much products don't sting anymore, I'm not itchy, I'm not irritated, I'm not as red and inflamed. My skin doesn't feel dehydrated anymore and I just feel like this has sped up that recovery time like tenfold. A lot of people have asked why um, in my evening routine I didn't use Crave Beauty's Great Barrier Relief. That is an incredible product and I wish I still had some left but I ran out of it. <laughs> this contains something called Comfrey Leaf which is made up of Allantoin which is really nice and soothing. Allantoin also boosts the growth of skin cells as well as Rosmarinic um, helps with the soothing side of it. I put this on at night, I wake up with not dewy skin like I used to when I used to pile on the hydrating ingredients, but really soft and not tight feeling skin. Like I feel comfortable going out with my skin like that. And then I use it in the morning as well. I have oily dehydrated skin and a little bit of this is just enough to kind of like set you up for the day. But yeah, I really like it. A bit of like a, not like a wild card because I do really, really, really like Beliefs products, but I just did not expect this particular moisturizer to help so much. So as the title suggests, Yes, I have a giveaway. This is kind of like a 500k um, celebration giveaway. I'm kind of like, I never thought I'd reach 500,000 subscribers. That's half a million. I know everyone says that, but I honestly, like there, there's no reason for me to have this many subscribers. <laughs> Like, I'm happy now. Like, people are like, to one million, I'm like, I'm really cool with 500,000. But I'm just generally happy that we're seeing such a growth within our community and we're all talking and we're sharing tips and learning together as well. So courtesy of Yes Style, because they just look after me so well, they have given me five 100 pound vouchers for you to use on yesstyle.com. So five of you will win one 100 pound voucher. This competition is open to anywhere that Yes Style delivers to. So what I'll do is I'll link that page where you can check if your country's um, viable, viable? I'll link that in the description as well as all the competition rules. But to enter this, all you have to do is of course be subscribed to my channel. Follow myself and Yes Style over on Instagram. And also comment on this picture your favorite product 
that I recommended. Because <laughs> this is all about me. <laughs> Just because I like to know if I made a difference um, in your skin life or not. All the giveaway details are in the description box down below. I'll be contacting the five winners over on Instagram, messaging them and then announcing the winners over on Instagram as well. But yeah, again, thank you so much for everyone's support. Like, um, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> if you have a YouTube channel where you talk about skincare or beauty or anything that you wanna share, please link your profile down below. YouTube holds linked comments for some reason, so I'll just have to prove them all. But promote yourself down below in the comments. But that's it from me now, guys. I will see you next time. Thank you.